So we've made our way from 1960 through 1966 in DC versus Marvel Battle of the Comic Book Values. Today, we arrive in 1967, part eight of the series. Does Marvel continue to dominate? How many of the top 10 comic books did I buy in 1967 and still own? Stay tuned for the video. Hi comic book guys and gals, I'm Joe and welcome to Anachronic Comics. So beginning in 1962, Marvel began dominating the top 10 list of the most valuable comic books with the introduction of its superhero line. Now during our look at 1967 in part 8 of this series, Marvel continues to dominate the top 10, but Batman gets into the list including a very special, to me, Detective Comics issue as a top valued comic book. Let's count them down. At number 10 we find Tales of Suspense number 94 with a cover date of October 1967 coming in at an FMV of $20,000 for a 9.8. With a cover by Jack Kirby and a story by Stan Lee, this is a key providing us with the first appearance of Moda, a, a mechanized organism designed only for killing. At San Diego Comic-Con, Modoc was confirmed to appear in Quantumania. Tied at numbers 8 and 9 is Fantastic Four number 67 with the cover date of October 1967 and Amazing Spider-Man number 46 with the cover date of March 1967. Fantastic Four number 67 comes in at an FMV of $21,000 for a 9.8. The cover art is by Jack Kirby and Joe Sinnott, and the story by Stan Lee. This key provides us with the first cameo appearance of him, later known as Adam Warlock. Amazing Spider-Man number 46 also comes in at an FMV of $21,000 for a 9.8. The cover is penciled by John Romita Sr., and the story is by Stan Lee. Now this is another key, providing the first appearance of Shocker. For number 7, we have the first of two DC Batman themed books. Batman number 189 with a cover date of February 1967, coming in at an FMV of $22,000 for a 9.8. The cover art is by Carmine Infantino and Joe Jella, and the story by Gardner Fox. Another key, in this issue we have the first appearance of the Scarecrow in the Silver Age and his third appearance overall, as well as the introduction of Scarecrow's fear-inducing chemicals. Number 6 is another Amazing Spider-Man book, number 44, going for an FMV of $23,000 for a 9.8. The cover date for this issue is January 1967. John Romita Sr. penciled the cover, and Stan Lee scripted the story. This is also a key due to the second appearance of Kurt Connors as the Lizard. Now before we get to the top 5, don't forget to zap that like button so that this video will be available to more viewers. Thanks. Okay, here are the top 5 value comic books in this battle for 1967 dominance. Coming in at number 5 is Tales to Astonish number 90, with a cover date of April 1967. It has an FMV of $29,000 for a 9.8. Cover pencils were done by Jack Kirby, and it was inked by Vince Coletta. The story is by Stan Lee. Yet another key, this issue provides the first appearance and origin of Abomination, Emil Blonsky, one of the Hulk's arch rivals. And interestingly, the interior story was penciled by Gil Kane. Number 4 is Amazing Spider-Man number 51, coming in at an FMV of $32,000 for a 9.8. The cover, dated August 1967, was penciled by John Romita Sr. and the story written by Stan Lee. Listed as a key, it is the second appearance of Kingpin and his first cover appearance. We also see the first appearance of Robbie Robertson in this issue. 
With number three, we go to Fantastic Four number 66 with a cover date of September 1967. It has an FMV of $39,000 for a 9.8. Another cover by Kirby and Sennett, and a story by Kirby and Lee as a collaboration. Yet another key, it gives us the origin of him, Adam Warlock. Number two on the list is Amazing Spider-Man number 50, coming in at an FMV of $68,000 for a 9.6. With a cover date of July 1967, this is a key that gives us the first appearance of Kingpin and the iconic interior panel of Peter Parker walking away from his Spidey suit that is discarded in a garbage can. John Romita Sr. penciled the cover and the story was by Stan Lee. Now, the number one most valuable DC and Marvel comic of 1967 is DC's second entry in the top 10 for this year. And it's a personal favorite of mine. Detective Comics number 359, a key book giving us the first appearance and origin of Barbara Gordon as Batgirl. With a cover date of January 1967, it comes in at $160,000 FMV for a 9.8. The covers by Carmine Infantino with Murphy Anderson Inks, and the story was written by Gardner Fox. So Marvel does continue its dominance, but fails to snag the number one position, which goes to Detective Comics number 359 and Batgirl. So Marvel has eight books in the top 10, totaling $250,000 in value, while DC has two, totaling $182,000. Now the 10 comic books can be yours for $435,000, the lowest price of the eight episodes. For 1967, I have seven of the top 10 books. So let's take a look. The first one I have is Fantastic Four number 67, which came in at number nine for this year. The Cocoon Hin. The next one I have is Amazing Spider-Man number 46, which came in at number 8. A shocker. Next, uh, from my collection that I bought as a kid back in 1967 for 12 cents each, is uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 44, which came in at number 6. The second appearance of the lizard. Next one that I bought back in 1967 is Amazing Spider-Man number 51, which came in at number four. The second appearance of Kingpin in his first cover appearance, lording over Spider-Man. The next one I have is Fantastic Four number 66, which came in at number three for 1967. Nice cover. What lurks behind the beehive? And next, well, a great Spidey cover by John Romita, is Amazing Spider-Man number 50, which came in at number two. For 1967. And finally, my personal favorite, the number one valued comic book in the battle between DC and Marvel for 1967 is Detective Comics number 359, the first appearance and origin of Barbara Gordon as Batgirl. I just love that I held on to these comics all this time. So I really don't know what 1968 will bring. Also, 1967 was the last year that I continued collecting many titles. So I may not have many of the top 10 for 1968, but we'll see in the next episode coming up in a couple of weeks. So if you enjoyed this entry in the series and you wanna see more, click here to see all of the entries in this series. And click here for my new ongoing series, DC Watch. Thanks for watching. Now don't forget that thumbs up. Be well, and I'll see you soon.